The Athenian historian Thucydides described the plague as follows. There was no previous record of so great a pestilence and destruction of human life. The doctors were unable to cope, since they were treating the disease for the first time and in ignorance. Indeed, the more they came into contact with sufferers, the more liable they were to lose their own lives. The most terrifying aspect of the whole affliction was the despair which resulted when someone realized he had the disease. Those who had come through the disease had the greatest pity for the suffering and dying, since they had previous experience of it, now feeling confident for themselves, as a disease did not attack the same person a second time, or at any rate, not fatally. In other respects, the plague marked the beginning of a decline to greater lawlessness in the city. People were more willing to dare to do things which they would not previously have admitted to enjoying, when they saw the sudden changes of fortune, as some who were prosperous suddenly died, and their property was immediately acquired by others who had previously been destitute. So they thought it reasonable to concentrate on immediate profit and pleasure, believing that their bodies and the possessions alike would be short-lived. 